Hi everyone and how are you doing today? I bring you greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and also on behalf of Christ of Pentecost Global Ministry and I want to share with you what we learned today in the house of God. Today we're giving a topic that says at peace with my neighbor. Praise the Lord. We take text from the book of Galatians chapter 5 from verse 13 to 26. The book of Galatians chapter 5 from verse 13 to 26 but I'm going to read verse 13 for us quickly as we move forward verse 13 says for you brethren have been called to liberty only do not use liberty as an opportunity for the flesh true but true love serve one another praise the lord and what is the word of the lord for you and i brothers and sisters we were told that truly we have been given that liberty but rather brothers and sisters do not be distracted as to use this liberty as an opportunity to satisfy the flesh and when we read further ahead we were told that the works of the flesh are hatred are contentions outburst of wrath emulations what is the word of the lord brothers and sisters we were told that as children of God, we should it should not be found in us the outburst of wrath. Let us not live in anger. Let not let us not live in hatred, but rather let us exhibit the fruit of the spirit which are joy which are love which are peace which are gentleness which are long suffering brothers and sisters we were told that as a child of god do not be the reason why your neighbor your colleagues your spouse will be heavily burdened with your attitude whenever they come in contact with you but rather let peace making start with you rather be humble rather be gentle do well in love with one another praise the lord hallelujah and as we were taught further we were told that as body of christ anywhere and wherever you worship god wants you to dwell in unity with one another the word of the lord says in deuteronomy 32 verse 20 it says one shall chase a thousand and two shall chase ten thousand but brothers and sisters it doesn't end there you too can only chase ten thousand when the two of you dwell in oneness praise the lord i pray that the grace that we need in the body of christ in the church of god for us to continually dwell in love to dwell in unity so as to stand strong so so that to be victorious may the lord release upon us in the mighty name of jesus christ amen we were also told that as children of God, we must dwell in harmony with our neighbors so that we may be able to receive every blessings that the Lord has for us. If you look at Psalm 133 verse 1 and verse 3, the Bible says, I'm going to read for us quickly, it says how wonderful it is, how pleasant it is for God's people to dwell in harmony. Praise the Lord. The verse 3 says that is where the Lord has his blessings praise the lord he said this is where the lord has promised his blessings praise god that is when you and i when we dwell in unity with our neighbors when we dwell in unity in love with those around us then we will receive every blessings that the lord has in store for us it says this is a life that never ends blessings that never ends if you truly desire the blessings of the lord it is time for you to dwell in love with one another i pray that the grace that you and i need may we receive it today in the mighty name of jesus christ amen and lastly we're told that as believers who is heavenly conscious looking at the book of hebrews chapter 12 verse 14 the word of the lord told us there that we should pursue peace with one another pursue peace with all men brothers and sisters it doesn't say with a particular set of people it doesn't say with particular races but rather pursue peace with all men and holiness the bible says without this no man shall see god i pray that you and i may we not miss god in the name of jesus christ may you and i may we not miss heaven in the name of jesus christ and as we go this week i pray that may holy spirit minister more unto you give you more understanding into his word in the name of jesus christ and before i go for all of you that are showing your love your likes i want to let you know that i truly appreciate it i see all that you do 
and I pray for you, I pray for myself, that may the hand of the Lord rest upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. May he make his face to shine upon you. And I pray that as you are showing love in the name of Jesus Christ, may you find favor with God and favor with men in the name of Jesus Christ and also for me too in the name of Jesus. I'll see you another time in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye.